The Square Ball Podcast. Welcome to the show, brought to you with Levi Solicitors. 15% discount on three things, Michael, until the end of January 2023, which is only a few days away at the time of recording, which are... Will's Probate Conveyancing. Will's Probate Conveyancing. Yeah, levisolicitors.co.uk forward slash the square ball. Check out the online booking system as well, and you can do the will appointments from the comfort of your own home if needs be. Part three of the show is Heroes and Villains, where we have a little rifle through the people who've done good and bad by us over the last seven days for and against... Leeds United Football Club. First of all, Ken Bates, Villain of the Week Award. Um, we've got people in the Leeds corner, Jesse, Brendan, in the opposition corner, Ivan Tony, uh, Brentford, Thomas Frank. Um, others, quite a few, any other businesses. We've got Peter Banks, who's the referee from Mary Poppins. Uh, us, uh, East Stand Child, Everton Board. Go on then, pick it apart. <laughs> let's, let's start with us. Um, it's fair enough, I think, raising hopes by getting giddy over the Cardiff win. Predicting things like four three five oh, three. So, sorry for having some joy in my life. Me, normally reliable and miserable. Um, I think I said it definitely won't be nil nil, and it was, of course, nil nil. Yeah. So don't have don't have hopes. What's um, happened to you? I feel like you've dropped your relentlessly positive persona. It's oh, hard work, mate. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you know I don't like that. <laughs> so how are you feeling now then? I don't feel particularly anxious because I refuse to let Leeds United ruin my life anymore. Okay. I just look back at like the relegation battle last season. It wasn't good for my health. I look back even on the promotion seasons we were talking about on one of the other shows this week. Not good for my health. Mm. Got to, you need to look after yourself, don't you? I suppose so. That's why Jesse can't win the uh, villain this week. I think he's going to be a regular nomination in between now and us uh, staying up. Um, and then he'll go away, and then it'll be fine. But and Brent so Aronson as well. I mean, poor no, thing. He's just him. a mere boy child who just needs—he just needs a little rest. That's all. Sherry and eggs. Just <laughs> mostly the sherry. He just as needs discuss. He just needs to go find himself again, doesn't he? That's all. And he might have a new friend with him soon to g him along. So that'd be nice. Yes, who kept him out of the USA team? So that can uh, happen again. Uh, Ivan Tony gets a nomination for nothing really specific here. It's a Yankee Doodle Batley. Oh, he had a right old moan at the right. He should have been sent off. For mm. kicking the ball away, so that's, that's not a, his fault, though, is it? I mean, players do get a bit narky in, in the heat of battle, but it's, surely that's the ref's fault. Well, he's nominated too for um, uh, wedge um, points out that the time wasting uh, needed to stop, and he didn't add enough time on. Wedge uh, proposes twenty five minutes, which maybe seems a little high, but was probably closer to accurate than what was it five that we got. Mm. Um, which wasn't enough. West Ham Ralph uh, rightly points out, as Rob has pointed out in the blog, that he's the ref. Not a fucking player. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so between him and uh, Ivan Tony, um, there seems to be some kind of... Well, I can't accuse them of anything, can I? No, I wouldn't. Let's say they just... They they're all they all erred. Mm. Um, I mean, for me, I want to nominate Peter Banks as the, the clear front-runner for this because he got involved mm. in the game. Shouldn't have done too think, much. And, but before we before we discuss it, let's just do East Stand Child and the Everton board. Everton board, obviously, Zach, not happy because they've, um, they've sacked Frank. I suspect that Michael will probably go in hard on the East Stand Child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not from, not me mm. who's put this on. This is Jesse's blank whiteboard has sent this in. He said, the child, not you with the pseudonym. The child sat behind me. Um, I thought everyone should hear his expert opinion on the whole match about how bad every player is. God forbid he closed his mouth and opened his eyes in case he learnt something that can't be found on the player's FIFA card. <laughs> Reminder of why I hate the East Stand. There was a kid sat behind me um, in the East Stand who was it the League Cup game? I think it might have been. And it was what you know when we do the goal kicks. It's ah, you shit bastard. And uh, it's just sort of quieting down afterwards. He went, Dad, what are they saying there? We knew that you shit. Bear. You know, like, he didn't know what it was. And we all just kind of turned around and laughed and thought, good luck with that one. <laughs> Someone on the uh, Phil from the Leeds forum from years ago you said uh, he, he told his son that we were singing we are Leeds we are vile David Jones is a crocodile yeah which, which is what I it was, was. it which, was wasn't it which I always liked as a song it was that's as what it was for the uh, the Everton board it's uh, Zach of Oz um, I think he's got a good point that getting rid of Frank is a risk from our point of view because mm. they've kind of won there's the risk of them making a good appointment but it seems like they're not going to because they're just going to sell the club instead um and then secondly, that it was fun. It was great watching them just week after week turning in nonsense performances and Frank Lampard refusing to take any responsibility for it. And then all his mates um, going on Twitter and saying what a great job he was doing. I was quite enjoying that cycle, aggravating as it was. It was kind of like, it, it was very self-contained. Now that he's been sacked, 
all those people like Matt Law are like, um, it's like a Catherine wheel firing now instead of it all being contained within them where it's all just like a, a um, an exploding human centipede cer- maybe yeah or just like it was just like one circle jerk now it's like that's spraying everywhere and we all have to hear it because it's all like because it's like it's landing on us isn't it instead of it all being focused on everton we all have to hear what a great job frank did so it was much <laughs> easier when he was just in a job and it could all just like happen there is there um, a chance if rooney goes there that continues Probably. I mean, I suppose Rooney's not. He's not got the kind of. He's not the same education as Frank, though. Because I think that was where Frank was unique in that he was a, a Premier League mm-hmm. England international. You could really see the uh, the benefit of his um, his upbringing when he was uh, singing those songs about nine eleven to the American mm. tourists in mm. that hotel. You could really see there what a, a fine young which man was he was only, from which the was start. Only, only days afterwards, we should say, like in the day or two yeah, afterwards, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it was um, very, a very sensitive response. All the things that he, he learnt at school from that very expensive education. The shitting in the dressing room is maybe, he's maybe sort of hijinks, though. Mm, yeah, and the uh, the sex yeah. video with... Um, Rio Ferdinand. With Rio Ferdinand mm. and Cole, that was good as well. Have you ever uh, shit in a dressing room? coerced into that. Have you ever shit in a dressing room? You've gone into, I don't know, British Arm Stars or something? No. Taking a shit? Nah, no, not not my thing. Not really. Nah, no, fine not for me. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I and think also there's the risk as well. What if he becomes a pundit? Yeah, he, oh. I mean he will. He will. Alongside. And he'll talk with great authority about stuff as well. And, and anyone who had the misfortune to watch one of his teams will have to go. Yeah. BT Sport. Well, Jake Humphrey I was just introducing saying, yeah. Frank Lampard. Just so, as we were saying on the high performance podcast this week. So like, oh, yeah, it's gonna. <laughs> they just didn't have the right mentality at Everton, did they? Jake Humphrey, what an unbearable twat. Yeah, it's gonna um, be great. Right, Peter Banks, he's having it for me. What about you? Um, I suppose, yeah. I mean, there are nomination. There's a nomination for um, what do you call him, Thomas Frank, as well. Yeah, it's his gum. Philip nominates his gum chewing gob. I feel like Peter Banks's head is like a um, a manifestation of Thomas Frank's. Like, if you if you took the chewing gum out of his mouth, it would look like Peter Banks. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that's reason to give it to Banks, I think. Yeah, yeah. Banks. Thomas Frank's always like that. I suppose to be fair, Peter Banks is always like that. I've never noticed him having so many touches before. Um, right on to uh, the Katana Baradi Hero of the Week award. Somebody um, who could touch all he wants. Uh, Max Verber was our TSB Plus members uh, player of the match for this. Some high scores in this game, actually. Um, we for defenders. Had, we haven't had many over seven, actually, on all the back four. Mm. Uh, sorry, not all the back four. The uh, Is it one at the back we play? Sorry, the keeper. Does, the yes, keeper, yes. The, keeper the, the one. Poor old Lillian only got 6.73 out of 10. Under so, yeah, seven. That was, that was because he did did. everything to do. It's yeah. not his fault. The price of being a goalkeeper. Verber, 8.39. Uh, and his new sidekick, Cock. 7.38 Tyler Adams just behind that Luke Hailing and then uh, it sort of dropped off below 7 down towards mm. low scores of, of about 5 Wilf Nyonto with a mere 6.84 <gasps> needs to book his ideas up doesn't he but he is still in line for uh, for player of the year he's yeah. played 10 games now so a season average of 7.6 so we'll track that over the course of the season I'm making I am making a unilateral decision like the trophies that we've got here we can afford to get one of those made up for Wilf Nyonto if he wins it Okay. And if Tyler Adams wins? Yeah, we'll get one for him as well. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds like a lot like you're trying to fix this as well. I mean, I'm not. I'm just saying we should definitely do a trophy because I, I think it'd be the lovely. Willie Nonto Player but of the Year trophy. I, I genuinely believe if if <laughs> Willie Nonto, I mean, whoever wins it, would be pleased. Whoever wins it, but it is it is a, a bronze cast model of, of <laughs> Willie Nonto. Yeah. I think Willie Nonto would just be such a great recipient of it. I think most the Willie people, Nonto of the Year award. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well done. You've won it again. <laughs> Right, candidates for Hero of the Week. Basically um, just Verba. Mm. He, was, he was more or less the only person nominated. Should we just give it to him then? I mean, it's kind of an easy thing to do. Scrooge, I think, gets a mention for because uh, he nominates him because he looks like he'd be a good neighbour. He, he really does, like really reliable. 100% yeah. would off the, the top of head, my head just because he's doing his side anyway and would and would tell off bastard kids <laughs> loitering about yeah. reliable, strong, friendly and dependable. Yeah. Like if he needed a set of jump leads because mm. your car wouldn't start, mm. he'd be out before you even knocked on his door. Yeah. We're going. Right. To, we're going away yeah. for a week, and he goes, "Bins, no problem. Wouldn't leave, you wouldn't even need to finish the sentence." Yeah. Yeah. No. No problem. I know what. I know what I'm doing. There's there's some extra boxes that are folded. Yes, fine. I'll put them out. I'll, I'll break them down. I'll put them into my bin. Don't you worry. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. I love him. Do, well do, you, do, you need, do you need your plants doing? Well, while, while you're away, I can I can pop round. It's what the marijuana farm in the loft? <laughs> Bless him. No, he he wouldn't do. He wouldn't be involved in that. I enjoyed uh, Dicky Wood. Perhaps says where where we are at with our levels. We said strong at the back. And even attacked a bit. <laughs> it's what we'd want if it just wow, just even attacked a bit. That's good. <laughs> but Dickie does add the uh, the Legion United caveat of he'll be wondering what he's let himself in for, though. Yeah, and Andy from <laughs> Salford makes a similar uh, point where he says Max Verber is the new Richard Naylor. 
brought in to steady a leaky ship and instantly organises the defence brilliantly, which is good because I've heard, and it's right, obviously Verbo, he's played one game um, from start to finish and been compared to um, Marisa Lucas. Obviously started well. Lawrence Dubok looked like the left-back solution in his first match. Who else has been? Um, started, Andy O'Brien. Andy O'Brien started well, went off, all those. But... There are also examples of the other way. Of Richard Naylor, who came in, immediately looked good. Pontus Janssen came in, immediately looked a step above everybody else, even from the Richard Naylor season. Uh, Sam Soji came mm. in and did a great job for the rest of the season. Um, Paddy Kisnorbo probably as well made a, an impact yep. straight away where you can just... Um, you just look at a player... A steady hand on the tiller. They just fill you with uh, confidence from the start. Um which, yeah, obviously we've been burnt by the likes of Salyukas and uh, Dubok. Um, but even Marius had a few good games before. It's only um, Hillsborough where he really um, went on a mad one and then was never the same. But every reason to hope that he's going to keep it up. Uh, we should say Christopher Lane got in touch, our CD Lane. Thank you, Christopher, saying, ask the German at work, it's definitely Vuba. Okay. Vuba. Max Vuba. Mm. Although uh, Max is Austrian. Mm. Well, what does that mean? Different. Do they not speak Austrian in Austria? But this a German was consulted. Yes. I, yes. Be- I believe, and I was just sending myself up there, but I believe they do speak a bit of German in Austria. But with a different accent. Okay. Because we were discussing on the other one about the differences between... Hinburn. <laughs> between what? <laughs> Hinburn. Hey. And uh, Hindburn. Well, it's like in, in England, we say Ren. We say Ren, don't we? Whereas in France, obviously, we know they say... Oh. It's like if you wanted to know how um, Michael Normanton's pronounced. Well, how do I pronounce this English name, Michael Normanton? And you asked Phil Hay. You're mm. going to get it. You're going to get the wrong answer. So I'm not having... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's... It's Michael Normanton. <laughs> I don't know why, because Phil Hay speaks backwards now. Like, uh, it was him. People don't know this, but uh, Phil Hay was on that Missy Elliott record. <laughs> Probably. He did that bit. I've got one of those pronunciation websites up. Do you want me to, uh, to play out what it should sound like? Maximilian Vuba. Vuba. That's a little bit cross. That's a bit Vuba. Vuba. Put in your name, see what it says. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No? Just plugging my laptop in so I can play it out of the... Uh, Oh, the listeners can hear. So you can hear as well, listening. Have a listen. Maximilian Vuba. 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 Maximilian Vuba. 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 It's Just call a... him Max. Yeah. That'd do. And he's worth a million, isn't he? And we congratulate him on being our uh, Kitana Barada Hero of the Week uh, for this week. 80% of the nominations or thereabouts that we got in were for Vuba. Yeah, yeah pretty much all were. Um, and I, I'm, just I like, trying, I'm just I trying like to work the, out how to say my own name here. Sorry. Oh. Come back. There you go. Just, I'm just checking out how to do my own name. I'll tell I can teach. I can teach the kids this when I get home. It's useful. Let's have a look. I know you. Do they not want to know? Do they use their real dad's name <laughs> so far? <laughs> Let's have a look. Moylan. Moylan. There you go. <sighs> Daft. There was, a nom- there was a nomination for Tyler Adams as well. He was just, he's just always good, isn't he? It's boring. Stop being, stop just being good every week. <laughs> no, I'd like S- Stop being efficient. <laughs> I'd like him to continue being good because... No, I, think, I would as well. As we saw away to Cardiff. It's a shit show without him, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're assigning Weston to... Yeah. Cause it, I mean, I don't think he's exactly the same position, is he? But he can do some running about in midfield stuff. Yeah, he's a bit more of an attacker, but uh, it seems like he's good, so... Mm. It's all right, isn't it, if we have some good midfielders? Absolutely. Bang up for that. Bang up for it. Right, there you go. That wraps up the uh, the weekly show for uh, for this time. If you've only watched a third of it, there are three thirds, much like any good football match. The um, the Accrington preview. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was sort of your classic sh- shit sandwich was this show, wasn't it, really? <laughs> <laughs> the Accrington preview, where we sort of gazed at maps. and It was a bit know. It was a bit of a mixed bag, was the Accrington preview, I think. Did we? Learn a lot about Stoke City <laughs> and their bench. <laughs> and the, the right... Family. So let's quickly review then, just before we sign off. Fast starts, always online. Yep. Yep. Stay aggressive. Minimal width. Vertical. Counter press. <laughs> Me just staying that? aggressive. Stay aggressive. There's quite a lot of shifting, pumping, and defending forward from uh, in that middle section, I feel. Mm-hmm. Definitely some pumping. Which um, is more important, shifting or pumping? 
Um, they give an equal weighting at point number five in the keys to the game. Do you have to do um, one before you do the other? Just celebrate moments. Hey. The clean sheet mentality is there. The clean sheets are not necessarily there. But the mentality is there. As long as they're thinking about it. You think that's, just, that's on the list just to make <laughs> Ilan Melier furious <laughs> every game. I, I think of nothing but clean sheets. This is all I have on my brain. But then you put uh, Diego Llorente in front of me. I don't know why he's not. <laughs> I wonder, he's, he's mates with um, with the Ruter, isn't he? I wonder what they've yeah. been up to this week. Hanging about together. Taking him to... Uh, well, they're going to be... Um, the Penguins uh, are going to be leaving Harewood soon. Yeah. Because they're closing the... Penguin bird, it's a penguinarium, I believe it's called. The bird bits are all getting closed. So maybe we're going to see those before they're yeah, done away with. Mm. They're, they're going to be done away with and we're rehomed. Put them into a grinder. Yes, it's, Lob yeah. them all in. There's your peacock. Be, but that'd be a nice entry. If you moved <laughs> to a new place, a new job in a new country, and you met an old friend who took you to see some flamingos. Mm. There's, a, right the, the, there's penguins at Lullerton Hall as well, if anyone's desperate to see penguins and mm. are you know, devastated by the closure of that. Because it's one of those nice surprises, because <laughs> if you move to Yorkshire, <laughs> the, the first thing you anticipate is not, oh, I see loads of penguins. Mm. Mate, then, we've got fucking polar bears and lions in that wildlife park down near Doncaster. Uh, Doncaster don't count. It's probably disappointed by the um, the bear pit on uh, the AR House Moscow. On Cardigan Road? Card on yeah. Cardigan Road, yeah. Well, it is still there. No bears, though. No bears. Yeah, the zoological mm -hmm. gardens never really took off, much like the hot air balloons. That they, that's one of the big things. They kept um, trying to have a grand hot air balloon launch, but they just kept um, toppling to the ground, so it never really took off. But yeah, that which, whole area. Which again brings us back to Hindenburg, which I mentioned earlier on in the show. But it never got quite that bad. No. Uh, the, the humanity. We're doing it again. Let's stop. Um, thank you for watching and listening. We'll be back with, what's the guide to this week? We're doing a guide to, um, which should be out before this, actually. Bears look, in Leeds. Bears in Leeds. Look out for that. That'll be out before this. No, it's, it's about us losing to uh, Sutton. Oh, the pie one. Celebrating our, another fourth round game. Celebrating moments. That's what we're just celebrating moments. <laughs> <laughs> and look out for the match ball... Um, at the weekend as well after the FA Cup game. Phil Hayshaw to come as well. Just look out for it all. We'll see you in a bit. The Square Ball Podcast.